It starts with plywood made from okume, a rugged type of mahogany. A computer-guided routing machine cuts out the boat's various parts. One has finger joints that interlock with another piece to make one long strip. These panels will cover the sides of the vessel and most of the top. The planks are so thin, just 4 millimeters, that the entire kayak will weigh only 17 kilograms. Then there are bulkheads, end panels, footrests, and curved pieces to support the deck and sides. After applying two coats of epoxy resin, a craftsman assembles the parts and secures them in a jig for six hours until the glue sets. The side panels will span the entire length of the boat at just over five meters. Assembling the kayak is pretty straightforward, so if you want to save money and do it yourself, you can buy this kayak cheaper as a kit. He planes and sands the end panels to create a curved tip. He drills small holes, spaced 12 centimeters apart, along the edges of the bottom panels. Then he threads copper wire through the holes. This stitches the panels together temporarily, keeping them flexible and thereby easy to assemble for gluing. He places wooden pegs between the side panels to pry them open. Then joins those panels with two screws in the front and two in the back. At this stage, the kayak is upside down, so they add the bottom panels. He attaches them with copper wire because it won't stick to the resin he'll use to glue these parts together. After flipping the boat, he attaches a bulkhead with more wire. It's one of two separators that creates stowage compartments. Using a putty knife as a gauge, he ensures the gaps at the seams are even. Then he flips the boat and coats the seams in resin. He lets it dry for six hours, just part of the 40 hours it takes to build the kayak. Before the glue hardens, he makes sure the top of the boat is level. This way, he can adjust the pieces if he needs to. After removing the wire from the seams, he applies more resin to these areas. Over this, strips of fiberglass cloth to form a watertight seal. He'll also apply three more coats of resin throughout the inside of the kayak. Once it dries, and he sands and varnishes the entire surface, the craftsman adds the footrest assembly. This one's got pivot pads with cables that control a rudder to help steer the boat. This is an optional feature, otherwise, there's a simple foot brace and you just use your paddle to go with the flow. Next, craftsmen apply resin along the kayak's upper rim. They add the top panel to form the deck. Then they wrap the entire boat in packing tape, which compresses the panels as the resin sets for 12 hours. These pieces form a raised rim around where the kayaker sits. A waterproof skirt fits under this rim, keeping the area dry in the water. The deck gets two coats of resin. An hour later, they spread fiberglass over the bottom to seal and protect the wood. The bottom then gets three coats of resin. Next, they spray on up to six coats of varnish, depending on the type of finish the boat will have. This protects the wood from sun damage. They add a foam backrest and a seat for your comfort on the trek. And finally, flexible rubber straps. They're for securing your harpoon, or more likely, your paddle. Either way, you're in for quite a trip. <laughs>